You're finally hitting your stride in Minecraft Dungeons, but you need a little help along the way. Never fear adventurers, your friends at Legion Gaming are here with a farming trick that will change your life. My name is Kodiak and today we'll show you a guaranteed way to make thousands of emeralds without ever breaking a sweat. So what is this magical trick you speak of, Kodiak, and how do I pull it off? Well, as with everything, it's all about the preparation. It starts with the right set of armor. You'll need something like this, mercenary armor, that reduces the overall damage you take. This is important because the truth is you're just going to be standing there and you've got to stay alive for this trick to work. Your armor also has to have these two enchantments, Thorns and Final Shout. Thorns returns a percentage of your attacker's damage back at them, and Final Shout well, this one is special. When your health drops below 25%, all of your artifacts are used, ignoring all cooldowns. But this is only one half of the equation. For this trick to work, we'll also need to talk about artifacts. For this trick, we'll be using three very specific artifacts, two offensive ones and one defensive one. First up is the Totem of Regeneration. Thanks to Final Shout, this will always drop right as things are going south and you'll jump back up to full health. Next are our two offensive items, and both summon allies to aid in battle. The first is the Tasty Bone, which summons a wolf ally to aid you in combat. Wolves will track down enemies around you and around corners, cleaning up anything that could potentially ruin this trick. Next is the Wonderful Wheat, which summons a Spitting Llama, and yes, you heard me right. This summon will take down any ranged enemies in the area. It's these three items that make up the core of the farm and the real reason why this trick works. Now for the magic, you've got all your gear and you're ready to go. And oh yeah, did I mention this is an AFK farm trick? You don't even have to be at your computer or console for this to work. So once you set it up, go do something else, come back in a few hours and reap the rewards. We'll be heading into pumpkin pastures, but you'll need to set your level accordingly. This trick allows you to farm experience and emeralds, not uniques, and it may take some trial and error, but setting the level lower than your character is key. At level 33, we ran Pumpkin Pastures at level 3, which was the perfect difficulty for this technique. We like using the area just past the ambush section inside Pumpkin Pastures because of the design of the area. Enemies will constantly spawn, which means you'll never run out of targets to kill and loot to collect. Once you complete the ambush, move to the next area, the one with the lever on either side of a drawbridge. Position yourself directly between the two levers, and as soon as you do, mobs will start to spawn and you're free to walk away. This trick works best when you can leave your game on for long periods of time, like overnight. So pop on the right gear, head to Pumpkin Pastures, and watch as the emeralds stack up. We hope you found this farming guide helpful. While it may not be the best way to get uniques outright, it's a great way to collect emeralds, which as you know, you can spend to potentially unlock uniques at the blacksmith. So ipso facto, you are getting uniques. Would you look at that? If you liked the video and want more Minecraft Dungeons content in your feed, don't forget to subscribe to Legion Gaming. We've got a great Minecraft community of over 500 players, so if you want to be part of something special, check out the link below and join us on Discord. Finally, if you want to support Legion Gaming even more, check out our brand new Patreon page. Every month we offer unique rewards to our supporters, and your donations go right back into helping our channel continue to grow. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.